It is October 27th, 2023. It's approximately 3 p.m. Head to UPS to drop off toys for all the good little boys and girls for Q4. But I haven't made a video in a couple days, so I figured why not make another no noisy video on the highway with a shaky camera to trigger all the people with no noise issues. Maybe I could smack my lips and eat some food, drink some water. Anywho, I was just, I was on the X, as it will be, Elon Musk's X. And I read through the comments and I watch the videos. And it is, it is pretty interesting to watch how reactionary the average individual is on all on all sides and it's top down too you know who, who we pretend are the leaders which are you know and they call them the elected officials but right there to begin with that's a scam because if somebody's truly a leader you don't need to elect them to lead they just lead and people shall follow it's the exact opposite the reason they need to be elected is because people aren't listening to them and they need force so they trick people into electing them and then they have a whole collective of violence and people that believe that might makes right and follows that violence to allow them to use weapons of mass destruction to enforce their ideas into society. And, it, and, it, and what's interesting is as I watch, as I like look at these articles where I see these videos and I take multiple steps back and like look at them I have a hard time believing that anybody believes these things however since people are so team oriented if your team puts something out that's unbelievable, and you gotta pretend like you agree with it, and then the people who actually share it the most are the tr are like the the people claiming that it's like weird. So they pretend like they don't care, but all these accounts that are posting, like say the left posts a video about something like feminism or women or trans athletes or whatever if you just ignored it no one cares which should really be the case with the exception of them like um, making people aware that the violent group is trying to enforce this on on people or force it on people but if you just started ignoring the government and living your lives a lot of that stuff would disappear too and you just stopped voting and started giving your money to individuals and putting it into uh, cryptocurrency instead of fiat but anyways so they post like a video of some nonsense say that the left makes and the, the left barely even shares it the left is not out yay this video is the best and like thank you so much for creating this they probably don't even know it exists and when i bring up a lot of this stuff to people on the left that i know in real life they're like never heard never heard of Dylan Mullaney no idea who who he is or she is they say now they will say when you say oh it's a it's a transgendered uh, 
woman who's a spokesmodel and TikTok star. They're like, oh, she, blah, blah, blah. They fall in line. But prior to that, they just, they have no idea. Meanwhile, the right will be sharing this like crazy going bonkers over the videos and stuff, giving it, like, you know, giving it wordplay in, in attention in society. So most of the clips that I see online are from right-leaning, libertarian-esque-minded people sharing left-leaning propaganda nonsense. I get triggered by it. And then if you look down in the comments, or you, if you try to make a philosophical, like, comment about it, if you make a snarky joke, like if I make a snarky joke about one of these videos, it'll, it, you know, and I get on there early enough, I'll, I'll be the top comment, or a pretty busy comment way up towards the top of it. But if you actually take it, like, seriously and say, well, if this is true, then, and you make a reasonable libertarian argument that's not, like, use force to counterbalance this, it doesn't get any any attention. So it's it's weird because if you read the other comments, people are making fun of the people, attacking them, all the stuff they don't even understand. It, it, one of them that I'll just say, and there's because no one's trying to get to the answers on either side, is like I made it. I was just talking about obesity, and I don't know because they don't study boys and men because no one gives a fuck about boys and men but uh, when they study obesity in females they found out that most of the women that had gained weight or put on weight did it after some sort of childhood sexual abuse and they did it as a hiding mechanism meaning if I'm ugly I won't get seen I won't be noticed I can hide and then I won't be molested or sexually assaulted anymore. And I mentioned this in one of the threads and said that people should check out a thing called The Bomb in the Brain, either the original um, series or Stefan Molyneux series with some extra narration uh, uh, Stefan puts together some of the, the, the things. And everybody in the comments just like, oh, stop eating. Uh, you're, you're overeating stop eating it's an exercise and it's like that's literally not the, not the solution it's an ongoing multiple battles between one abuse but two uh, control of the food system and medical industry where they actually create these in, uh, imaginary foods that trigger your primal responses intentionally to make you want to overeat them so that you can buy more. It's a trillion dollar industry, the food and EBT thing. And then it does make you sick. So the same people was like, well, since you're making the people sick um, and we can't make money in healthcare anymore, we also need you to subsidize the healthcare. So it's just a, it's a big loop and a big circle. And also, a lot of it has to do with sexual abuse. So this video is never going to go up. I'm going to just delete it. But I just wanted to get some notes out there.